Hello. Welcome to our channel. Well, hello, guys and girls. Am I glad that ordeal's over? Um, I can gladly say that uh, Renee, the bitch, is back. Oh, bless her. She's not a bitch. She's back on the road, guys. And I'm so glad she is. Oh, God. I know everybody's got it worse, you know. And there is people out there that got it worse than me, and I appreciate that. You know, but I need to get this off my chest. Just have a little, as Jonah says, three, six, five outdoors. Have a little whinge. You've got to have a little whinge, didn't you? You go. Um, but yeah, she's all done. Thank God. Um, yeah, what an ordeal that was. The guys at that garage, um, I asked them if they wanted a shout out and they said, well, you can say the company name, but not where we are. Do you know what I mean? So I thought, I thought that was a bit odd, but there you go. But absolute diamond geezers in that garage. They, they bent over backwards for me. Um, they even were sympathetic to my, to my plight, you know what I mean? Um, and knocked off uh, 20 quid off the labour, which I thought was pretty goddamn decent of them. Um, the garage that I took it down was uh, Mr. Clutch. And a shout out to that company. Absolutely, uh, they, they just bent over backwards for me. Couldn't have done enough. Great, absolutely great garage. Um, but uh, you're wanting to know what, what happened, really. Well, basically, the, in a nutshell, the belt, I thought it snapped, hadn't snapped. It was stretched into the point of almost non-existent into oblivion. Um, and the reason it was stretched like that so badly, I'll put a picture of what caused it in the uh, corner there. Um, oh, put your foot down, boy. Um, yeah, I'll put, a, I'll put a picture up in that corner of what caused the problem. It was the uh, pretensioner pulley. Wasn't there. It had sheared off. Completely sheared off. I mean, how rotten must have that have been to have sheared off? Completely. So it's a good job I did take it to a garage because I wouldn't have been able to do that job. And I know a lot of you, you know, sorry, but it hurts sometimes when people, you know, they don't, either they don't, they don't know the whole story about my health or they're just too fucking narrow-minded. Sorry, but it upsets me a little bit because, you know, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna go into it. I don't want the sympathy vote, but I'm not well. I'm just not a well man. And whoever invented that that phrase, the you know, the mind's willing, but the body ain't. Clever person. So it's frustrating knowing the knowledge you've got and you can do it, but the body just, it won't let you do it. Anyway, stop rambling on. Yeah, it was a pretensioner pulley just sheared completely off and caused the, uh, the, the belt to completely, well, I, I kid you not, it was about a millimeter and a half, possibly two millimeters thick it stretched it up that, that badly um, and then he said right are you sitting down I said well yeah I said the belt would have cost such and such such and such he said well with the labor and the pulley and the belt you're looking at 200 sheets and I thought for Christ's sake seriously how much more money have I got I have we haven't even gone away in this thing yet do you know what I mean I know I'm moaning but I got I, I got to give my moan out but but the positive thing is, number one, she's done. And the steering feels fantastic. Two, it's one less thing to go wrong, isn't it? That's the way I look at it. And I can't give up on this. You know, she's old. A lot of people, you know, might think she's a piece of shit. But do you know what? Uh, I can't remember whose channel I watched. Ooh, that looked interesting. There was a PC back there. Leon. Um, but you know what, a car, yeah, it's a, it's a certain thing, but a camper van, you do. I don't know who said it, I watched somebody's channel, but you do get attached to these vehicles. You know, you put your sweat, heart, body and soul into these things. You know, these, these vans, and it is, it's part of you. 
it's part of your, you know. Oh, God. Well, that's going to be me with beans on toast for the next two weeks. So anyway, guys, I'm going to keep it positive and keep it keep it real. Um, you know, I've got my van back. She's back on the road. Um, and before I go, um, I've got, basically, I've just got to say, once again, thank you to the brew crew to uh, for helping me. You know who you are. Thanks a lot. Anyway, stay safe, stay warm, and look after your vans.